Army detachment has this evening been deployed to part of Somerset to help in the battle against the floods. Severe flood warnings remain in place in the Somerset levels amid forecasts of more heavy rain overnight. Earlier MPs were told more money is being made available for emergency and maintenance work on flood defences. In the short term, I can announce that the government will provide an additional £130 million for emergency repairs and maintenance. £30 million in the current year and £100 million next year. This will cover costs incurred at, during the current emergency response and recovery, as well as essential repairs to ensure that defences are maintained. While the village of Moorland in central Somerset is one of the worst affected places, police, fire service, environment agency, local voluntary groups, they've all been joining forces to help people get through from day to day. Our Home Affairs correspondent Andy Davis is right there. Andy. Yes, well, welcome back to the Somerset levels where it's been a story of reluctant surrender and remarkable defiance here today. We had the police out yesterday warning more than 150 people to leave their homes due to the risk of flooding. And today many have left, but some have refused to go, including one man, as you'll see, who's decided to erect a giant ring of clay around his home to try to protect it. A convoy of tractors and another flood-induced exodus. 500 cattle were relocated from one farm here today. For many in the moorland area now, there are no more options. As Jackie Fisher and her family today reluctantly accepted. And where are you going to go? Um, my husband's sister. She's at oh, the other side of town, so we're nice and high there. So we shouldn't have too much water. <laughs> a bit of a lump in your throat leaving the home? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, we've had a few tears this last couple of days. But now we've made a decision that we're going to go. It's a bit easier, I think. How does it feel having to, to move out now today? Well, we come over here for a nice retirement. And it's been hectic ever since. <laughs> this is why they're going. Their village gradually, it seems, being embraced by this vast surrounding floodland, despite the efforts of the people from the Environment Agency. Hang on, we just, you can't go oh. that way. Yeah, we'll come through this way. And yet, we met a couple, Michael and Buttons Price, who, despite so, uh, being surrounded yeah, by water now, door. are desperately holding out. So this is your um, this is, is your back garden. Your back garden. Yes. That's our fish pond, which is about 18 foot long. Garden submerged, the fields beyond now a lake. The police have advised them to leave. Our determination is to stay here. Let's make that abundantly clear, yes. It, have you made that clear to the police? The, yes, we did tell them that. Yes, night. yes. It is our property. Everything is bought and paid for. And to see it like this is little grieving to say the least. Very, very grieving, truthfully, yes. Bound to be, isn't it? But their battle against the water appeared somewhat less daunting than that faced by one of their neighbours. His house, built four years ago and now completely surrounded by water. We hitched a ride with one of the many diggers Sam Nataro has hired to build a perimeter wall made of subsoil and clay the last defence on the frontiers of the flood. This is a, a massive operation. Yeah, yeah. Are you gonna, are you gonna win this battle, well, Sam? Well, we, we hope to win anyway. We obviously want to try and save the house if we can. When did uh, you buy the house? Uh, we built it four years ago. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> do, you th do you think you're gonna hold out? Um, yeah, we've put some big pumps in, so hopefully, yeah, yeah. Um, but we've got to try, haven't we? Yeah, that's the only thing we can do. <laughs> well, necessity, they say, is the mother of invention. And this is one man's answer to the ultimate sandbag. Well, we knew the military were on standby, and we've had it confirmed tonight that a group of Royal Marines has been drafted in to reinforce flood defences just a couple of miles away. We've also had it confirmed while we've been on air tonight that Lord Smith, the chairman of the Environment Agency, will be on the Somerset levels tomorrow. 
his first visit since the flooding began and given the antipathy expressed towards his agency in some quarters over a perceived inertia over the dredging of the rivers, the reception he could get here tomorrow could be very interesting. Andy Davis on the Somerset levels.